Wrestling Showdown. Firstly, can I say a massive thank you if you've come out and seen us in Stirling on Friday, Lilithgow yesterday, and here in Buckhaven today. We really can't do these live events without you, so thank you so much for showing your support, for coming out. I hope you've enjoyed yourself at whichever of these three events you've seen. Hopefully all of them. Remember, we've got more live events coming up. We're on September the 16th in Edinburgh, and we'll have others in the future I'll tell you about in the weeks to come. So uh, if you haven't seen us this weekend, firstly shame on you, but if you haven't, don't worry, you can come and see us in Edinburgh and that will make up for it. So ladies and gentlemen, you've just seen some footage of a match from here on Showdown back in January. The Noble Lions took on Jason Reed and Kevin Williams. The tag team title was on the line. It was Williams and Reed that won the championship, fair and square, but the Lions were not happy and attacked them with chairs, left them lying unconscious. They are victims of a golden ticket cash in moments later and they have not held the tag team title since. There's a lot of bad blood between these two teams and they've fought in countless matches throughout this year at our various live events. I'm sure in recent weeks here on Showdown you've seen them meeting in singles competition. Jason Reed defeated Lucian Maynard Smith and Johnny Lyons beat Kevin Williams. But this started as a tag team feud and if it's going to end it will be in the tag team ranks. So... Both teams have been put together by management here this week in an attempt to settle their differences. What will happen? Will this be kept a traditional tag team style match or is it going to get out of hand quickly? My money's on the latter. But we will find out as we take you now to ringside as the Noble Lions take on Jason Reed and Kevin Williams. Little story. Last time. 
Gang and this venue, myself and my partner, the Noble Lions, what? The Tag Team Champions. Due to bad officiating, bad announcing, and bad management, we lost those titles. Well, <laughs> the last laugh was ours, eh, Lucien? Uh, Jason Reed <laughs> and your partner, you were both laying down there, steel chairs on our hand and <laughs> how did that feel? And then you lost your belts straight after. Tell them, Lucien. Kevin Williams. <laughs> Jason Reed, we've beaten you up once and we'll beat you up again because we are noble, we are lions, we are the noble lions. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this is Joe Ford, they see you in wrestling showdown. You can see that Jason Reed and Kev Williams have come to Rigsy with chairs in hand. And it looks like we've been waiting for any kind of official introduction. This match is off and running. Now, I'm sure you know the history between these two teams all really stems. In fact, in this very facility, back in January, here on Wrestling Showdown, uh, the Noble Lions were the tag team champions. They lost that title to Reed and Williams fair and square. But after the match, the Noble Lions attacked Reed and Williams with chairs, laid them out, left them lying unconscious, and they were the victims of a golden ticket cash in and lost the title barely 60 seconds after they'd won the damn thing. So there's been a lot of uh, anger between these two tag teams. They have fought uh, some of our live events up and down W3L this past year. They've met here on Showdown over the past, shall we say, about eight weeks or thereabouts. We have seen occasions where uh, Jason Reed has faced Lucian Maynard Smith in a singles contest, Kevin Williams faced Johnny Lyons, but things were not settled to their satisfaction, and so as a consequence of meeting here in a tag team match, and you saw Reed Williams come with those chairs. I believe they're the very chairs they were assaulted with, they've kept them all this time, as Kevin Williams gets body slammed on the floor. This has got totally out of hand. This is not the sort of match you normally see from these four men. Not only the more wrestling based, but um, clearly due to the, the situation between them, as Lucy Maynard Smith gets run right at the ring post, they're willing to take the fight to the floor. Referee Kieran Swinney just doesn't know what to do with himself, and understandably so, because how can you gain control of these four? And Lions and Reed now in the ring. And I'm assuming they're going to be officially classed as illegal men, but I can't really see what they get a lot of tags. I can't see this being a, a classic tag team style encounter because I think these two teams are just going to do whatever it takes. And a big leg drop from Jason Reed from the backbreaker. I expect plenty of double teaming. I, I, I'd be lucky if we'll see a tag, I would have thought. But as I say that, Perhaps we are going to get some rules here. Maybe the, the fight on the floor is enough for them. As Ken Williams and Johnny Lyons fight when they met in that singles match uh, here on Wrestling Showdown. Johnny Lyons had to use a rope and had to hold on to Williams' shorts at the time to get the pinfall. So had to cheat to defeat him. And you know they want to address the balance. I mean certainly both of these teams the, their immediate concern is this match, but they, you know they're looking ahead to getting a shot at the new tag team champions, Prince Asad and Saqib Ali. Reed and Williams would love to get those belts back, I mean, they've only held them for barely two minutes or whatever it was. The Noble Lions love to be champions again as well, but of course you cannot discount the opposing team, because Reed Williams and the Lions are very good at what they do. And either of these teams is capable of taking a victory. You see Lucian Maynard with a knee right in the small of the back. 
and he and Williams, no strangers to each other, as he just throws him on the middle rope. Great way of cutting off some momentum by limiting the oxygen they can get in their lungs. And a knee drop, and again, right across the chest, trying to drive all the air out of Kevin Williams. And they met, just as an example, back in uh, Seven Deadly Sins in 2015. Smith gained the victory over Williams, so it was certainly an easy task. Again, these four men have met numerous times in singles matches, tag team matches here in WTL and beyond as well, actually. So tensions are running high, but the crowd are following the side of Williams and Reed. Nice back elbow. Some good teamwork being shown by the Nova Lions. And Kevin Williams has found himself in the, if you'll pardon the cliche, in the Lions' den. And he really needs to maybe make a tag to Jason Reed to throw that is easier said than done. And the Lions are being very fluid here. A lot of rapid tags keeping the fresher man in. And Johnny Lyons is pulling at the, the hair of Ken Williams and trying to goad Jason Reed in. Going to be the worst move actually. See, Lewis Shemir has a handful of hair. This is the, the kind of tactics they're going to resort to. Bending and breaking the rules. If you're watching Shodan back in July, you'd have seen Kevin Williams defeat both Prince Asahan and Lucian Smith in the triple threat match as Johnny Lyons just throttles Kevin Williams. And here's what I was mentioning Jason Reed charges in, he's annoyed, he wants to help his partner, but because the referee has to keep him back, that just left Kevin Williams open for some double teaming to be cheated on. So it's a down to when tempers are running high. So Russian leg seat by Lucian Mayer and Smith. They go in for a cover here. And I do wonder, are these teams thinking of getting a quick victory? Because I mean, ideally in a match, you want to win as quickly as you can. So you don't risk being hurt or risk giving your opponent the opportunity to beat you. But as Smith comes off, taking a bit too long and runs right in that boot, are these teams that we think of hurting each other more than gaining the victory? And Lucian Maynard Smith gets dumped down and Kevin Williams needs to roll across and make the tag. He's nearer Johnny Lyons than Jason Reed, however. I think he's realised this now, he's crawling, but he's still got a distance to cover. Smith gets there first, and Kevin Williams tags in Jason Reed, who explodes across Johnny Lyons, a bunch of clotheslines. He may be the least experienced man in this match, Jason Reed, but he's arguably the most dynamic. He just launches himself at the tenacious one. And a forearm right in the back of the head. And a lovely jump and reverse neck breaker. This could end the contest. But it won't do it quite yet. In July of last year here in Showdown, uh, Jason Reed did defeat Johnny Lyons in a singles contest. Certainly uh, no easy task as he comes off the ropes. Lovely drop kick. Hits that square in the chest of the tenacious one. And Smith at the very last second breaks up that pinfall attempt. That may have ended the match, I have to say. And down goes Jason Reed. But Smith doesn't go for the pin because he sees Kevin Williams in the ring. Good awareness by Lucian Maynard Smith. He knew Williams have broken that up. He just bides his time, waits for Williams to stand up. But I'm still feeling the effects of earlier on. And he hits the game over. That's how they won the tag title back in January. And all four men are down. And here's going to be a war of attrition. Who's going to get to their feet first? Smith rolls to the floor. 
he wisely gets out of harm's way. He cannot be pinned now. Williams slowly crawling up. Lyons has got up at the corner. Jason Reed stunning as well. Oh, and down goes Kevin Williams. That cradle DDT of Johnny Lyons drops Williams right on his head. But he doesn't go in for a cover. Doesn't try and get a pinfall attempt. Oh, and it's the referee. Kieran Swinney gets caught with a banter boot. Johnny Lyons with enough presence of mind to step to the side. The ref is laid out cold and he hits the line car. And that would surely be it, but the referee has been knocked down. It was inadvertent, of course. But with no referee to officiate the match, how are you going to win? How are you going to get a three count or that submission? I don't know if you can see, but Lucian Maynard Smith at the back of the ring. He's reaching under it. And he has retrieved those chairs. Of course he has. The ones that Reed and Williams have brought to ring, say the ones they've had since January. And they've got those chairs. It's going to be a repeat of January again, isn't it? And I don't know if Reed and Williams realise what's happening. The Lions hold the chairs. Oh, and they miss. And the chairs ricochet back. Hang on, it's a double cover. And that's done it. Reed and Williams score a victory over the Noble Lions. So it started with two steel chairs and it ended with two steel chairs here on Wrestling Showdown. Success for Jason Reed and Kevin Williams. A few to start with the Noble Lions using some steel chairs. Seems quite poetic just as they backfired upon them. Congratulations to Reed and Williams. That will no doubt put them prime in the firing line for the tag team champions Prince Asad and Saki Ali. Perhaps that'll happen in Edinburgh. Well, you can find out because we have a live event cup in Edinburgh, September the 16th. We are going to be there. I've mentioned you before that Leah Owens will be in action. We know that Johnny Moss will be taking on James Scott currently for the heavyweight championship as well. So much more besides is an event you do not want to miss. You can buy your tickets for that from our website, wtlwrestling.com. Of course, you show them as a coupon code to get 20% off. Make sure you follow us on Facebook and Twitter as well because it is those places that you will find the latest up-to-minute information first about our live events and WTL in general. Use the hashtag WTL Wrestling Showdown, subscribe to this channel and make sure you come back in seven days time because, and we've been waiting for it for a while, I've teased you with it in some respects and management have finally made this match happen. Next week, right here on Wrestling Showdown, we are going to see James Scott defend the heavyweight championship against Joe E. Legend. What will happen? How will it affect Edinburgh? Well, you'll find out in seven days. Join me back here then for more Wrestling Showdown.